Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I live in northern Canada. It's very cold today, minus 22, but it's warm inside. Today I'm going to give you a quickie reading. This is, uh, what is today, December 27th? Yes. All right. I've been shuffling for the last half hour three different decks. And I think I'll start with this one. Oh, we've already started to pop. So here we go. All right, I apologize. This is a newer deck, so I'm still studying it. But beautiful artwork. This has to do with healing a relationship and asking us not to give up. Look at that artwork. It's really quite beautiful. I'm going to turn this light off. Maybe that'll help. Isn't that gorgeous? It says uh, falling in love or making serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. What came up also was the magician. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be what you need to be a success. And the third card to go with that was studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous. Happy news about your career, promotions or scholarships, well thought out plans that go perfectly, needing a little push to get going. <clears throat> oh, so perhaps you're not too motivated today, a little bit on the lazy side. That's not a surprise during the holidays. We all deserve to be restful. Let's see if I can put these together. Um, all right. Here we have re the nine of autumn. Reward yourself for all of your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. Oh, well, this goes in line with this. This says you need a little push. This one says take a rest. So take your pick. A little push, a little rest. Maybe a little of both. Give me a moment. Something will come to me. Sixth of spring. Wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring reward, success, and public recognition. And two of spring, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Great progress being made. So if I look at this all together, it it looks to me like um, I'm not too concerned about you needing a push because Something is coming in where this card says you need a push. No, that card doesn't say that. This one does. Needing a little push to get going. But I don't think that's necessary. Because during this week, or during today, uh, during your rest, it very well could be, not necessarily today, but something is coming in. Something is going to be offered to you. And it is going to be profitable profitable so it's almost it, it almost looks to me like whatever is coming is just being dropped in your lap 
you know, your feet are up and someone comes along and says, here, there you go. And you're like, oh, okay. And you hold it up and it turns to gold. Reward yourself for all your hard work. Don't overindulge, though. We don't want that. Hangovers are never fun. Yes, happy news about promotions, scholarships, career, well-thought-out plans that go perfectly. Smart choices. Rewarding yourself. Oh, you're really taking it easy today, aren't you? And with this bright future manifesting through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, you've done that with the magician. Something you've been working on. Something you've been working on. And right now you're just taking a break from. You put out the seeds. You put out the ideas. You put out. You've had your thoughts. They've mulled around in your brain. Perhaps today with your feet up on a, a pillow, you'll be mulling over those ideas and thinking, how can I put this together? How can I make this happen? And it very well could do, have to do with love as well. Obviously, there is an ambiance of love in there. But with all of these other cards pertaining to profit, your ideas are manifesting, literally being dropped into your lap. I'm going to pull one more card from a different deck. Just because, well, actually, the very first card that came up had to do with love, falling in love reconciling, healing. So, let's see. Just wait for the card. Here we go. Oh, wedding. Did some of you get proposed to at Christmas? And if it's not a proposal of marriage, is some of you are moving in together. Some of you have decided that you are going to be exclusive with one person. Give your relationship a chance. That falls in love, line with the, the resolution of a problem, not giving up. That is your daily quickie for today. Thank you for joining me. You could help me a great deal if you clicked on the like, subscribe, click on that bell for notification. And please do comment so I can get to know you better and uh, give you more accurate, if not general readings. General readings, uh, surprisingly, uh, general readings uh, cover a lot of ground. If one part of the message doesn't resonate, another part might. But uh, in general, this is the collective. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again really soon. Bye for now.